Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival. We are rocking right along with my holiday countdown where I'm opening and reviewing a new product every day in December until Christmas. So let's see what we have for today. So I previously reviewed the S1 Baton, an awesome little EDC flashlight that pumps out a very powerful close to 500 lumens. Today I have the bigger brother, the S2 Baton, which pumps out 950 lumens. The Olight S2 Baton is an awesome flashlight, a little bit bigger than its little brother, the S1, but still a perfectly acceptable size for EDC carry. This light has the Cree XML2 LED emitter, which pumps out a 950 lumens. The S2 has the same stainless steel ring around the power button, which is recessed, which is nice. Makes it so that it's not likely to go off in your packer pocket. It does have tail cap lockout if you choose to do so. It also has this blue and stainless bezel, which is similar to what's found on the S1. This has a TIR reflector in it, which allows for 90% transmission of the light. You can see it's a great looking flashlight. It's got an anti-roll bezel there, the low profile uh, activation switch. It's got a very deep carry pocket clip, which is removable. That's really nice. You can carry it way down deep in your pocket. It's got the magnetic tail cap. Of course, you, it comes with the lanyard that you can put through there as well. And as I said, it takes 18650, one 18650 or two CR123s. The S2 Baton is IPX8 waterproof, which is the highest waterproof rating for a flashlight. It means it can go underwater and still operate as normal. The Olight S2 is very easy to operate, just like its little brother, the S1. You simply just depress the activation switch and that turns the light on and off. It's gonna go back to the brightness level that you had it on previously. Once the light's on, you simply just hold down the mode button and that's gonna cycle through the modes. So we have our low, our medium, our high, and then our turbo, and then of course it's gonna go back to low and keep on cycling through. It also has direct access to the two common modes, which are moonlight and its highest turbo mode, which I think is really cool as well. You simply just hold down the button there and it's gonna go into its moonlight mode, which is half a lumen, or you double click and that's gonna send it right into its turbo mode. Now one thing on the turbo mode is that it will stay on turbo for two minutes and then automatically dim down by about 50%. It's also got the advanced features just like other high quality flashlights such as thermal protection and polarity protection. So here's a size comparison between the S2 and the S1. It's not quite two times as long. It is a little bit wider in diameter. You can see there the difference in diameter of the light. Both have the same blue stainless steel bezel and stainless steel ring on the uh, low profile power button there and they both have similar pocket clips. The S2 is much longer than the S1. You can see there again on the tail, the S2 is just a little bit wider in diameter than the S1. The S1s of course take a CR123 and the S2 takes either an 18650 or two CR123s with the included clip that holds the uh, smaller batteries. Just like the S1, it does have the battery direction, but it has polarity protection, so you really can't insert it the wrong way. The light will simply just not operate. I wanted to mention too that Olight makes some really nice 18650s. I've never had a problem with them, and so those are available for their lights as well. All right, so we can get some night shots and we can step through the modes here. This is the low, then you have the medium, then you have the high, and then you have the turbo. You can see it's got a nice uniform beam, no real hot spots. Pretty much the same beam with that TIR reflector that the S1 has, but of course, nearly twice as bright. Now you do have quick access to two modes, the uh, 0.5 moonlight mode, and of course the 950 turbo mode. You hold down the button from off to get to moonlight. That's handy when walking around the house, for example. So here's the 950 lumen mode. It's got a very nice mix of flood and spot, as you can see here. We can do some run times here. This is the low, the 10 lumens. This will run for 144 hours. 
the half Illumin Moonlight Mode will run for 60 days, which is incredible. And then we can step it up here to the 80 lumens. That's gonna run for 19 hours. We can step up again to the 400 lumens. That'll run for 245 minutes or roughly four hours. And then we can go all the way up to the 950 lumens, which will run for 170 minutes or almost three hours. So pretty good run times even at its brightest setting. You can see it's just starting to sleet here. Pretty cool, you can see that in the beam. It has one more mode before I get soaked here. You can triple click the mode button and that'll put it into its strobe mode. Whoa, seizure warning. So the S2 Baton is an awesome flashlight, just like the S1. It's just a little bit brighter and obviously a little bit bigger. I like the low profile activation switch. I like the deep carry pocket clip. I love that tear reflector and the beam that it puts out. Olight only does cool white, so if you're looking for neutral white, you'll have to look at something else, but that tear reflector does make for a nice beam. I like the magnetic tail cap. It does come in pretty handy, and I do like how bright it is for this size. Olight's programming is also very easy to use and very easy to remember, and I like that 0.5 lumen uh, moonlight mode that lasts pretty much forever in this particular flashlight. So how would you like to win a brand new S2 baton of your own? Well, it's simple, and Olight and I have teamed up to give one away. All you have to do is head over to their Facebook page and give it a like, and then make sure you're a subscriber of mine by clicking that red subscribe button and leave me a comment below saying, I'm in. I'm gonna randomly pick one of you to win a brand new S2 baton. So the S2 has a great price as well, $49.99. I'm gonna post a link below to Amazon where you guys can find out more as well as pick one of those up. I think you can still get one in time for the holidays. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Leave me some comments below. Make sure you share this to your friends and family on your favorite social media. And as always guys, while you're leaving me a comment, make sure you subscribe for more videos. Man, we are really getting down there, aren't we? I'm gonna to have to wrap some more up. So let's do this one tomorrow. Here's the size of the box. No real rattle to it. So leave your guesses below in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow.